Hello, so welcome to video five, uh, where we're learning the night of the sleepy panda. I uh, hope you've got your music ready in front of you. Uh, you'll be needing your music. So we've finished the first page, um, which took three videos uh, covering that. Then we've been working in much smaller chunks. The last video dealt with this whole line here. And now we're going to be looking at bar 21 to bar 24. If you can't play the, the bits before it, you need to go back and work on those. There's no rush, take your time, work your way through. But this video is all about this line. Now, it's quite a long video, but it's only for four bars because it's quite tricky what we've got to do here. So it may be that with this video that you'll be needing to pause it and go back on things. Remember to work from your music as you go uh, so you can see what's going on there. So let's look. Um, I'm actually uh, going to look at the whole of the right hand, the whole of the left hand, and then how it goes together. Okay. So looking at bar 21, it starts down below middle C on G sharp, and you've got quite a bit of fingering marked in here. You've got one, two, three, four, and then you'll see it says one onto F sharp. So you play that, then you move up another note, and then you get a chord, which is one and three, and then two, so I think about the best way to play this, three, three and five, sorry, one and three, three and five, like that. So I'll show you that again. So it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, one and three, three and five. And you'll just find, just need to bring that little thing out just a tiny bit to make sure it's on there. You've also got what's called a split chord there or an arpeggiated chord. So that's the little squiggly line going up. Uh, if the line goes all the way from the left hand up to the right hand, you start down on the left and you roll the whole chord out like that. If you've got two little split chords above each other, they both, both hands start at the same time, but roll up. Like that. More about that later. So this is what we've got so far. Okay. Then the next one's going to start the same. be very tempted to put your second onto this but you're not you'll see it says four so you can bring four onto there and why because it sets you up to go three and five that's marked in the music then one and two that's marked in the music then you're going to need to bring your thumb up onto the C sharp on one and three so I'll show you that again that's bar 23 and 24 thumb under then straight onto your four finger three and five one and two, one and three. Here is the whole of the right hand part. One and three, three and five. Repeat. Use your fourth, three and five, one and two, one and three. So spend some time on that. You may need to pause the video or rewind it. Go back. I say rewind. You know what I mean. Uh, go back to the beginning. Um, so don't move on to the left hand to be really happy with that bit. Okay. So uh, I'm going to carry on now. But as I say, you may want to pause the video and, and go back over that first door. Right. I'm now going to look at the left hand part. So back to bar 21. I'm not going to worry too much about pedal at the moment. We'll talk about that more later. There's no fingering marked in the left hand, but the note goes C sharp. F sharp, A sharp. So I think if you just use that sort of what I call neutral hand position on the black notes, you're going to go little finger, middle finger, thumb. And this may seem strange, but it actually works really well. If you use that as a little pivot and bring your little finger onto the F sharp and your second finger onto C sharp, let your thumb go. And then the next chord is almost the same. Okay, I'll show you again. So back to that neutral position over then I'll carry on it starts the same but you're going to drop back onto the first two notes you played so that'll be three and five then the bottom note changes three and four and then back to I say back to actually that's the first time you've been done there so here's the second half of the line again little finger third finger back to those first two notes, then change to three and four, and then one and five, like that. I'm gonna play the whole of that line. I'm also gonna put the pedal in, just to remind you that it's just con ped, which means with pedal. Uh, we're gonna be back to doing it, this one pedal a bar, like at the beginning of the piece. 
And the trick is to hold it on through the bar. So I've put my pedal on. Sorry, you, you helped me use the right pedal. So I've put my pedal on. Now I'm going to let go. Can you hear the pedal still on? I cross, I play the chord, and whilst it's held, I reset the pedal and then just keep it held. You hear it still on? Now I'll start the first note, up, down with the pedal, back to the pedal, uh, sorry, back to the first chord, re pedal. It's quite a nice sound, isn't it? There, it's quite a lot of stuff blending together, but I think it's quite quite effective. So that's the idea with the pedaling there. Uh, so you'll need to do a bit of uh, work on that uh, separately, okay, on that left hand part and the right hand part. And then our final stage now is to look at how we're going to bring this together. So as I say, you will probably need to do some separate hands work before you do that because it's tricky. So let's work initially just, uh, I'm going to try and work in two bar sections. So I'm going to do bars 21 going to 22. So just to recap, so bar 21 goes like this in the right hand. Thumb, two, one, three, three, okay. And the left hand went, little finger, little finger, thumb, cross. So in the right hand, in the first bar, if you have a look at bar 21, you've got quavers going one and two and three and one, two. The left hand's on crotchets, one, two, three, one, two. Two. So when you put them together, you'll have two right hand notes to each left hand note. So the first two will go like this. Then we're going to move to that one, three there. Then I'm going to put my thumb onto that A sharp, bring my thumb under here, so thumbs at the same time. Then the second. Now, we've got one and three here in the left hand. I've got a crossover to get those two. And then I'm going to try, just play them all together for now, but we're ideally we want them to go slightly split. Then the left hand one's going to be one and five, and it's going to be three and five. Okay, I'll show you again. So here we go, nice and slowly. The next bit starts exactly the same, so I'm just going to go into it. So a little finger there, thumb there. Thumbs again. Now, take a moment. Instead of two, four. So put the four in on its own because it's a quaver. And that brings us for the three and the five. You'll see it in the music at the top. Down the bottom, you've got those two. See what we've got? Yeah, so three and five there. Two and five there. Then I'm going to drop down to one and two in the right. And th two and four here. See it? And then fiddly, because that thumb is going to there, and that thumb is coming up to take over that note. So I'll just show you that again. Just so the right hand does this. The left hand does this. two together, I'll do the run in, thumb under, fourth finger, so lots to think about there, I'm just going to run that whole line so you can just hear the whole line, and I'm going to put the pedal in as well. take all week to get that. Uh, that's, that's probably quite a, a fiddly little bit of music there. Um, but I think once you've had a few goes of that, that should start to sit really nicely.